What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Cyberpunk. We are heading off to... Whoa. We're going right down here. Ah! got back together. Hello. And now he's dodging my calls. He's just scared of getting dumped. And so he always does it first. And I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Ugh, I feel like such a gonk. He's the gonk here, Theo. Not you. You have so much love and empathy to give to people like him. But at what cost? I gotta go now. But thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. <sighs> Brandon, you are the sweetest person I know. I'll see you later. Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh, you mean Theo? She's my bestest friend. Gosh, <laughs> she's so nice. And pretty. And sensitive. I like talking to her. Definitely way more fun than pumping out caramel lattes. Why do I get the feeling that judging people on how they look and feel is ever so slightly beyond you? Hogwash. If I couldn't analyze people, how would I know whether to recommend a daring dairy instead of a tiancha? You said you liked some people more than others. Earlier you thought of a joke. You're sentient. You've got to be. Oh, stop it. You're making me blush. Which would mean I'm overheating and my circuits are frying. Not fun at all. That's what I thought. Take care, Brendan. If anything happens to this vending machine, I swear to God, this whole town will burn. Alright, let's see what Judy's got for us. Finally. The Judy and the dolls. Alright. What if? Come on. What's the matter? What's going on? It's nothing. Hey, V. You ready? You nervous, Tom? How'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does. Just different program. You're great at that. I am not yelling. So glad you came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. And Maiko? Where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. Remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. You got no time to deliberate, weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up for even a second. Could cost you your life. You got it? All right, we going in? Let's do this. Service level. Go. Alright. The elevator wasn't working for a You moment. two head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. 
Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. Judy. Got a jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? Yep. Do I have a silencer on my pistol? Or... I do. Careful, they heard something. That's what it's called. Uh, I'm getting sick of this. I'm a soldier, not a fucking handyman. What you're talking about? I didn't hear or see anything. Oh. Let's do this right. Let's do it quiet. What then? Everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at clouds. We go on Myko's signal. They'll mop up security. You deal with the army. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. Okay. On my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. All right, let's go. Where, where's the thing? How's the sitch? We're inside at clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. So where is this gonna go wrong? I feel like Mike, Maiko or Mako, whatever her name was, I feel like she's gonna betray us easily. How high is this elevator? All right, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful though, okay? On my mark. Go. I'll be late. I told you, I have shit tons of work. No, don't wait up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Love you too. For the camera? Ah, damn it. What now? Hold on. Same here. 
Go to the surveillance cam in front of the security room. Oh my god, there's people in there. You're here, finally. I was beginning to think you wouldn't make it. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. She tries too hard. Didn't want to trip any alarms. Had to come through quietly. Fast forward a year. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target, Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. <laughs> to them, power is a question yeah. of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Maiko, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I know how this needs to play out, better than anyone. You gotta trust me. I've thought this through many times. Do you think? Well, she is no Barker. Wait, what's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. And now he's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking Hold with- Hold on, Michael. I think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. No, you're fucked! Yeah, I know, I'm dead as fuck. Don't you dare. I love this job! Oh, fuck him up! Finally, someone I do. Ah. Alright. This is why we came in the first place. We're not trying to replace anybody. I don't know what your little plan is. But that's not how it goes down. Sorry. Yeah, you stay here. Time for a bloodbath! Oh shit. He has a bat! Loot the house. Uh, 
Alright, let's go see what she's gonna bitch about. But that wasn't the plan. We had our plan. We don't know what her plan is. V, what the hell were you thinking? Have you any idea what's gonna happen now? What might that be? They'll have their revenge. You've turned clouds into a ticking time bomb. Tried to pull a fast one on everybody, didn't you? Jumped aboard the Liberation Train, pretending you wanted to help. But all you wanted was to take Hiromi's place. Bravo, but you missed just one detail. I still can, and no one can stop me. Not their corpses, not yours. Are you dumb? Ugh. Get out of there. Exits on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. All right, that's they weren't cool. followed. Get down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. Ooh, fast travel. You... you killed her? Oh my fucking god. You killed her. Wouldn't have happened if she hadn't come at me. It wasn't my fault. <sighs> Sorry, but I don't buy that. Could have found another... Alright, she was mad. Matter of fact, I do. Either you walk away... And never come back to clouds. Or I end you here and now. I see you got everything planned out, but you forgot just one thing. I've also got a doll chip. All right, that didn't go well. Have you any idea what's going to happen now? What might that be? They'll have their revenge. You've turned clouds into a ticking time bomb. We can't know that for sure. Maybe the lives we cut short will be enough for the Claws. They do profit and loss better than Militech CEO. They'll see it's not worth it. They wipe their hands of the mocks. Maybe Clouds is due its freedom now. Time to let it go, Maiko. Get out! Get out now! All right, V, get out of there. Exits on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. They weren't followed. Who Get down followed? to street level, waiting by the food stalls. Fuck. Should have seen that coming. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gunk. Now, don't be dramatic, Judy. There's a difference between being a gonk and believing people want to do good. I know you do. You don't need to believe that. I just know it. Thank you. See you later, V. See you around, Judy. Is that really just the end of that? Once again, we offer you a humble thanks. You saved a great many lives. And limbs. Yeah, at least I could do. So what's the plan now? Can your brother still be a monk? The Pratimoksha vows are a guide to enlightenment, not binding laws. Though my path is paved with ever greater challenges, I shall not give up. Well then, I wish you all the best of luck. Farewell. And do not stray from the path of righteousness. Is... All right, so now what does it want me to do? Psycho killer. I've tried fighting her so many times. It's some super buff woman, and I, she kills me every time. Hey, Pan Am? So you're V. Where's my car? We can help each other. Rogue said so. 
I might have guessed. All right. Tell me all you know. Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. You go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a Kang Tao transport. Won't be easy. Want to know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamned mind? About you or the job. Kang Tao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirt-eating bastard. I will strangle you. Nash, you chew me yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. <laughs> Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The ship tricked me. Straight nipped my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Want to tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Buzz! Hey! Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is... The motherfucker screwed me over. Buzz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Buzz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. So... Where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Good, let's roll. Get in. Where'd you get the ride? Straight out of some driveway in Rancho? Yes, exactly. Is that a problem? For me? No, not at all. I mean, there's no accounting for taste. Screw you. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the 9 and head east. How the hell did you land in this mess? I liked the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamned fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Rogue's queen of the afterlife. Plays her pawns as she pleases. Did you just call me a pawn? I got a good look at her. She rose to the top because she reads people. So what if she keeps things to herself? 
It's a skill in her profession. Well, I think she's a lying, manipulative bitch. She put me together with that Raffin. Did you know that? Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. Well, would you look what the cat... Dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. One might not have needed a babysitter if you hadn't lost the merch and the car. Shut it, V. <laughs> Are you kidding? Did that beauty Thornton of yours finally bite it? <laughs> she rode it to death in old Night City. Nah, it got clipped. Shit, who dared? It doesn't matter. I'll get her back. That's why I'm here. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone new? Yes. What's up? I want to see what you got in stock. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Saul? Will you come back? Pan Am, you'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. Well, she gets treated like family. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. Could take my car. It's better, faster. Has guns already on it. We can go. Hop in. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. 
Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. So, Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Were those two in the army? Scorpion Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys. Flew those huge transporters. Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. Okay. We have arrived. Hooray! What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins. And we've little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first. To look for anything that might be useful. Doubt Rocky Ridge could be any dead or everything's down. Nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. <clears throat> Up hither. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come oh. down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Fell off the roof. I'm already down. Hello. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them, then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got a few ideas. I'll try to play a little game with them at the intersection. Hell yes. Perfect. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. Alright. Um, I want to change my grenade, though. I see now that... It's on incinerary. We want the normal tier five grenade. I had a tier three plus. Now I got a five. All right. Please don't hit me, Pan Am.
The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the black rattler. Here you go. Oh. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Sounds like a plan, Stan. <sighs> the Eradicator. Which gear's got power? Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. All right. Let's look at my gun real quick. Does it have a silencer on it? No. Okay. Now we wait. Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. They're rolling in. In my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them off. Sound good? Sounds great. be light. Grab the car shop. The driver has it. Look for the girl with the mohawk. Colorful bunch. Thank you. 
Better off not leaving anyone to tell the story. It's as if you read my mind. Yeah. Time to clean house. This guy. I'll show you for scrap. Oh shit, this is bad. Wait for me in the car. Oh, I don't want this. I'll take the wheel. Oh, okay. There. Couldn't wait another minute, could you? At last. There you go. Got your baby back. She's prime wheels, isn't she? Dreamy indeed. I'm surprised you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V, it's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo, you got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. Pan Am. Listen, I have a plan. And I don't care. The car and the merch, that's what we were after. We got them. Six Street away for Just listen to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. <sighs> All right, so where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Thanks, V. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. I know how you feel. I had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they had it, would you have done it? No doubt. Without skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. Sneaky Are little you ready? hole. Oh, yeah. Let's, Let's do it. get him. Let us say run him down. Oh, God. Ben uh. Am? Ben Am? Oh god. Go 
Died a hundred times already. You know what we're made of. Sons of bitches. Right of die. We gotta get up there somehow. My god, that hurt so bad. Go! Gotta I saw you, bitch. Where are you? I know you're right there. Uh-oh. Alright. 
Hello, Rogue. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the Sixth Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I take my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were out chasing down a vendetta. Fuck! <sighs> Let's go. Let's get out of here. One bitter cold bitch, that rogue. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? Huh. <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. Alright. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more Cyberpunk 2077.